Hey YouTube, iPhone Wiz back again. Um, today is my first Q&A video. Um, the first question comes from Chiron Baseball via YouTube. His question is, how do you get um, ROMs for PSX for iPhone or iPod Touch? Um, he also asks if there are any um, sources for Cydia. Not that I know of. Um, if someone finds it, put it in the comment. But right now, there are none. I've looked all over the internet. I know a lot of you have done the same thing, and I cannot find one. There are very large files, so that might be one reason that people are not, not making repos. Um, but I'm going to show you the way I've done it. Um, we'll go into mine first, just to show you that I do have. I have one. Um, it, the size is about it's between 300 and 400 megabytes. So it's huge. Um, this one runs about 75%. Um, takes forever to start up, so we're not even going to wait for it to start up. Alright, so let's get into this video real quick. I'm going to do it really quick, really quick. You're going to have to go to um, a site where you download um, ROMs from. ROMHustlers.net is a good one. I'll put that in the description. Download it. It's going to come in several... Uh, it's going to come in several parts because they're so big. Let's see if I can show you that. See, like, whoa. And an advertisement. Uh, skip this ad. Okay, sorry. A little advertisement. So you see this, like, Ace Combat 2 has eight parts. So, uh, yeah. So it's, it's going to take you a while. Each one's about 40 megabytes. Um, let's see. So you once you download that, you have to download them all before you can do this, because then once you extra extract it, it'll put it all together. Um, so then once you do that, you do have to SSH. Um, if you don't know how to do that, um, refer to one of my other videos. So what you do, it's located in mobile, media, ROMs. The folder should already be there. PSX. You just you have to have these two files, the scph1001.bin. Um, it's out there. Just type that into Google. I'll also put that in the description. I'm not going to give you a direct source for it, but you can just copy that and put that in Google, and you'll find it. And then you're going to put your ROM. Um, you're going to go to your properties, and you're going to set them all to 775. And then you will also have to set this you have to set the PSX folder to 777 okay so that is pretty much it for that um, the next thing you have to do I mean the next question um, he had was is there a way to use uh, iPod touch to transfer um, internet to your laptop um, no, because um, the iPod Touch does not have Edge or 3G. There is a way to do it with the iPhone, though. It's a program called hold on, it's a program called PDNet, which is right here. It's a it's a pretty simple process. Um, I don't know if that answers your question exactly. You can leave me a comment on that because your wording was kind of weird um, but there is a way for the iPhone there is not a way for iPod touch um, if anyone has questions on how to um, set up a um, ad hoc uh, connection between your uh, computer um, leave a comment I can make a video about that um, but this was my first um, Q&A um, so put comments I'll, I'll respond to them um, until next time um, this is iPhone with signing out.